Alrighty guys, welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I just wanted to shoot this real quick video and talk about how to heal in this game because uh, I, w I played for like the first, I don't know, 30 minutes without fully understanding how to heal. Um, and it's not that difficult, but it just wasn't intuitive. So on the interface here in the bottom left hand corner, you see this L1 button. I'm playing on the PlayStation. So um, this would still apply to PC, but it'd be different button combos. But for PlayStation, yeah, there's this L1 button, and that's how you fire um, your like alternative, you know, or in this case, I have a weapon. So fire an alternative weapon. Um, or use a ration or grenades or any of that stuff. So uh, you do that by pressing L1 and that activates it, right? But how do you change that? So you do that by pressing R1. So if you come to R1, you have this wheel here and you have a couple of these by default. So this syringe and this med kit are um, there by default and maybe the water canteen. So. And how you change these items is you go in to your options and down here to your inventory. So uh, this heal kit and um, this cloaking spray, I can't switch out because I'm currently on Panther. Um, so each class has a couple things that they can't switch out. So I can't switch out um, a cloaking spray, but I could, it would become something different once I picked another class. But right now, so like if I wanted to replace the grenades, you just hold them down and then I can replace them with any of these other things I've picked up or acquired. So flashbangs, um, uh, you have the syringes here. You could replace them with these other things like uh, rations and you can craft these rations. So as you run throughout the world, you pick up like plants and fruits and stuff like that. And then when you're at the Bouviac in the, the preparations menu, uh, you can craft different items and they can show up here and they, they're basically just different buffs, right? But kind of the, the two main ways to heal are with uh, this bandage kit and then the syringe. So you would just make sure that they're activated, right? Because these are your slots and then come back out here and then you press R1, that brings up your panel and then you move around to uh, the syringe and then now down in the bottom left hand corner, you can see that the syringe is activated. So uh, let me go get shot here. Um, I don't know, I don't see any guys. Maybe I'm not gonna go get shot. Do I see any guys? I don't see any guys. But anyway, so the uh, the syringe is kind of like run and gun. So you're running, you're firing at people, you're getting hit, and then your health bar is going down and you you just need like a hit, right? So not only will it restore your health, but it will allow you to, you know, uh, increase your run speed and all of that as well. So the syringe is kind of for like, you know, in a bind, real quick heal, kind of like in PUBG or something like the syringe. You just stab it, instant heal type thing. But then if you're just really getting toasted and you're bleeding out, because um, once you get injured so much, you can't even fire your weapons except for your pistol, that's when you would use the uh, this health kit. And uh, it takes a little bit longer. Like you literally, uh, you like borderline sit down and you start wrapping bandages around your leg and it takes some time to heal. So that's not something you want to do in like a firefight unless you're really really need it. Did I kill this thing? I guess I did. Um, pick this info up while I'm here. So, let me come over here. I'm gonna uh, do a little test run here. I'm just gonna walk up and get shot. But first, I'm going to change it to syringe. So, hey, tool bag. Okay. Okay. So, see my heal down there? Uh, like, you're in trouble. You're getting fired at. You need to get out. That's where you can press L1. 
and it gives you a little pop and then bam you're back to full health and you can run uh a hundred percent again so Okay. 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 There we go. So see, now see my health down there? I could actually opt to use this as well. So let's see. I like sit down and you start wrapping your leg and it's just not ideal. So if you're really in a bind and you really need like a health punch, use the full on kit. But most of the time the syringes will get the job done. So. Uh, that's how you heal in Ghost Recon. Uh, of course, you can always switch out. So I can come in here and I could switch this out um, for other things. And then, of course, I have buffs and other, uh, other things like that. But those are the two main ways. So you have to equip them in your menu. And then once they're equipped in the menu, then you can press R1 to select which one you want. And once those are selected, in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see what's activated, and then you can press L1 to heal. So it's a little convoluted sometimes, but um, it makes sense after a couple times of doing it. And you just kind of want to be uh, aware of what you're doing, because I've gone into some gun battles and had like, I don't know, the grenade launcher or something there. And you, so if you know you're going to go balls to the wall fighting, uh, I'll activate it ahead of time. Um, Cause it doesn't seem like it, but like when you're in the middle of a gunfight, if you're like monkeying around with your squirrel will and whatnot, uh, people can toast you and take you out pretty quickly. So anyway, this is Ghost Recon. That's how you heal. Just a real quick, simple tutorial. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any value out of this, uh, or if you just want to help me out, uh, like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys are uh, doing in a Ghost Recon, how you're liking it, and uh, love to hear some feedback. So, yeah, let's toast some guys here. Just gonna toast a few more before we end, just because it's fun. I don't know where he went. Can't see him. Okay. All right, level up. Nice. All right, now we're done for sure. Catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.